Star Wars Battlefront will be released in November of 2015 and will be a completely multiplayer focused experience, ranging from the survival modes to the large scale battles we all love. Shown off twice at both EA's and Sony's press event, the new Battlefront looks astonishing for fans of the series but sceptical for fans of EA. The EA press conference footage reminded me of a Battlefield 4 gameplay montage before the Star Wars elements kicked in. But the thing that turned out to be the real lightsaber of this franchise was the Sony footage. Showing off fan service characters and the beauty of what photogeometry can do. For a first for DICE, it looks like you can now call in killstreaks in a move most commonly tied to the Call of Duty games and respawn's first game for a year, Titanfall. And in true DICE form, there were both land and air vehicles on shore. The EA demo tended to focus more on the aviation side. The gameplay footage also showed off some iconic moments in the films, and finally, the ability to play as Darth Vader, Han Solo, and many other heroes in the saga. The game really does look like the new hope Star Wars fans have been waiting for. But this is a year, and we know what a rocky start Battlefield 4 had, and the many people not liking the direction that Hardline took, so the penultimate question here is. Will Battlefront work at launch, or will we need to wait and force ourselves through an excruciatingly painful first year? Only time will tell.